Hello everybody, this is John with NAPCO Technical Support. In this brief video tutorial, we will be discussing how to playback and save video history for iBridge Video using the iBridge mobile application. And this mobile app, iBridge Video, can be downloaded via the App Store or the Google Play Store. Uh, so as you see, as we launch the iBridge Video application, uh, you have our snapshots for the cameras. And as you notice, above each of the camera snapshot is a cloud icon, which is your cloud recording and your push notifications. And the icon to the right of it is your playback icon. And we will be discussing how to playback and how to save your video history uh, in case of an incident or if you needed to see a specific event that might have occurred and you want to save it. Uh, so we'll go ahead and press the playback. And as you see on the bottom left, uh, we're in the cloud recording. So this is the push notifications recording. Uh, so in here you can toggle the date and we go back to the first and as you see there's a little bit more activity and you could play back any one of these here very quickly just to give you an idea. So these are different push notifications that occurred on the first so that you can easily play back and on the bottom right is the device record and this is the 24-7 recording uh, to your local SD card. Included with each uh, product is a 32 gigabyte, so the cameras are recording 24-7 uh, to your uh, SD card, and that's what the device recording here is and accessing right now. So we'll just give it a moment to gather the information from the SD card. Okay, and as you see, it's connecting, and you have your timeline, and as you see, the date is still selected as... December 1st and in this screen for a device playback you see a green bar in the middle this is actually your timeline uh, you can press the question mark here as you see two fingers slide towards each other to zoom in and out so if you put your finger on the green and you move it you can actually see the time changing there so if we say we go to 12 o'clock in the afternoon it is in military time uh, that will load and as you see on the top right the time has changed and if you need to zoom in as you see I'm if you pinch in you can actually bring the time so you could be a little bit more definitive on the exact time that you need to get to make things a little bit easier so see you can come all the way into 10 second denomination uh, if needed 10 minute denomination excuse me so as you see here we can just change and the, on the top right the times will change. So in each of these you'll see above the timeline and again this goes for the cloud recording as well so this is how you save video history. Um, if you press the, the, the picture icon this will take a, a local snapshot of the video so say if you had an event where you were trying to identify or look at in a, a specific uh, time during the day and you wanted to save that photo you just press the picture icon that'll save it and if you wanted to record an event, as you see, I just pressed the uh, camera, uh, a video record icon. And as you see in the top left, it is now recording. So this actually records your video uh, that is saved on the SD card. Or if it's a cloud recording, you can actually click on that specific uh, alarm event. And you could do the same functions as saving a picture or taking a video of that event. So we'll save about 30 seconds here for this demonstration. And I'll click the video icon to pause it and as recording saved so again this goes for both the cloud recording and the SD card recording so if we were to go back to cloud recording and say select an alarm event here and again I wanted to snap a picture of this event and if I also wanted to save some video on it just a couple of seconds and I can save this so now how do we access this information on the phone? Uh, simply enough, just click the back arrow and you're gonna press settings and you're gonna see here it says local file. So in here, on the top you have your videos and on the right you have your pictures. So these are the snapshots that we took of the uh, cloud recording and also the device recording. As you see, you could toggle between them both. And if you click on the video, these are the video clips that we took. This was just the three second one. I can hit 
back. And if I click on this one, you see this was the 30 second clip that we saved. So the beautiful thing about this is that you can highlight and select these uh, multiple if needed. And you could actually on the bottom, you'll see some new icons appear. So you have a share icon where you can actually just email it. If you need to email it to the authorities or email it to yourself, um, you could add it to a uh, Google Drive or uh, some sort of online storage if necessary. And also you can save this here to your local SD card or your local phone itself. So you can actually export uh, the content. So some phones have a uh, SD card or you know, a slot where they can, you know, disconnect that or, you know, again, if you save it locally to your phone, you can attach your phone to a USB, uh, but probably the easiest is just to select it and you could probably just email it to yourself and that'll get it right onto your PC uh, so you could use it. And again, the same goes for the, the photos. So you could just select them and you could hit share. And you, again, you can share it with a bunch of different things. You could save it to your drive, upload the photos. So we'll press the back here. So that is how you access your uh, saved video history and local file over here underneath settings. And that concludes our tutorial on how to play back and save video history for iBridge video using the iBridge mobile application. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for further videos. Thank you for choosing Napco. Have a great day.